Well, hello, welcome. Please come on in. Welcome to the Colangelo College of Business. All right, well, um, for the purpose of this video, to make sure you can understand and hear everything I'm saying, I'll remove my mask. Uh, but typically, it's always worn in the building during COVID times. My name is Randy Gibb. I'm dean of the Colangelo College of Business. I've been here about six and a half years. Uh, due to everything going on in the world, we thought it'd be fun to, to shoot a video, a, a quick walking tour of our, uh, of our college. We're just going to go straight down this hallway so you don't get disoriented as, we're, as you're watching this. But hopefully it gives you an idea of who we are and the building that you would be coming to to, uh, to learn all about business. So here in the College of Business, I've been here about six and a half years. Our pillars are servant leadership, ethics, and entrepreneurism. And that's uh, what we're all about here in the College of Business. The right way to do business, serve others, improve our community, generate revenue the right way, and uh, redistribute those funds to help other people and make the world a better place for human flourishing. Uh, Romans 8.28 is uh, up on the wall. Love that scripture, and that captures certainly who we are as a business and as, as a university. So please come on back. Let's uh, walk down the hallway and hopefully give you an idea of who we are. Notice we've got signs up to create a healthy and safe atmosphere. Mr. Colangelo put his name on our building in 2014, and he's all in on who we are, about business. He uh, visits classes often. I've escorted him to probably 60 different classes. His message is that life is relational, and uh, he absolutely loves speaking to students. So uh, you'll get to see him when you come on campus. Uh, we have a museum on campus and another part in his name, the Colangelo Museum, but we also have the Colangelo Library with about 400 books and a number of items, photos, uh, memorabilia. Uh, there's one of our awesome students, Julia. She's uh, got a great internship in finance with Vanguard uh, coming up this summer. We also have our boardroom. It's kind of become our baseball boardroom. Again, Mr. Colangelo has donated items, photos uh, are on the wall all about baseball from the Arizona Diamondbacks winning the 2001 World Series. They beat the Yankees in a, in a thriller, Game 7. All right, so come on down. Let's see uh, the rest of our college here. Lots of space to collaborate, to work, to work together, to study before class, after class, meet with faculty right outside uh, their offices. We've got enclosed conference rooms if that's needed as well access to whiteboards, uh, computer monitors, um, lots of opportunity for you to meet with students, study, and prepare. We are an ACBSP accredited business college. We've got uh, the certification on the wall, and then we also have a little history that we started in 2015 for faculty and our top students that graduate. Uh, really proud of our team, everything we've accomplished. Uh, oh, hey, there's Thunder down the hall. That's where my office is. When you come, please make sure you look me up, say hello. We also have our calendar wall. This is really, really important because we have so many events, not only in the classroom, but extracurricular, co-curricular activities. Um, so for instance, BUS 352 is uh, business, uh, business statistics, uh, virtual Zoom, uh, non-COVID times, that would be, of course, face-to-face -face in a lecture hall. But we have lots of opportunities for you to get help extra instruction on everything that you're uh, learning in classes. We have students can access printers, copiers. Uh, love that quote on the wall. It's certainly what we believe as a college of business about free market capitalism. So let's come on back to the uh, hallway here that's connecting uh, the next part. We're really proud of our wall of fame. These students are recent graduates uh, who just graduated and have jobs, or they've done summer internships or great part-time jobs. So for instance, Gabe, uh, he's a, an awesome, su a very successful young man. He's from Imperial Beach, California. He's a marketing major, and he has biblical studies uh, as well. A lot of students do both those types of degrees, but he has a great opportunity and job that he's working. Another example of Maris Graver. She just graduated in December. 
she had a, uh, an internship with Charles Schwab, and she uh, got offered a full-time position, and so she's now moving to um, Austin, Texas to work with Schwab in their marketing department. So students, it's fun to uh, uh, celebrate their success, motivate other students to get involved, and um, recognize their great work. So now this part of the building, um, we've got a little break area, uh, kitchen, and then this is access to a courtyard. We have lots of hiring events in our courtyard, and then access to classrooms. So above us are 57 classrooms, and then we also have four lecture halls in the Colangelo College of Business, a four-story building. Really excited to share our Canyon Challenge winners. This is a student business startup pitch competition, kind of like a shark tank. Uh, we're, we have the winners up. Every year, five teams compete, and only one comes out on top. We've had a lot of great successes with those student startups. Now we're doing it both fall and spring semester. It's so successful. All right, now here's our alumni wall of companies, right? You saw our students. Well, these are the, our our companies, for instance, Northwestern Mutual, nationally known company with locations all over. And then we also have Upward Projects, a local hospitality restaurant company. Uh, Lauren Bailey is on our advisory board. We have 40 plus members on our main advisory board. But they're in fact going national with one of their uh, restaurant concepts called Postinos. So um, come on back as we kind of finish our quick tour walking down the main hallway. We enter a whole other area where there's lots and lots of faculty offices and even more collaboration space. An even larger conference room, open uh, conference room, whiteboards, computer monitors. And I love this quote. This goes back to servant leadership as we combine our integrating our faith with business success and entrepreneurism. Love what Pastor Chris Brooks has to say. As we come here, our last area, even more areas for students to uh, sit, work, prepare. Again, normally, non-COVID, this, this, uh, this area would be packed. Um, and I want to finish with sharing Lopes First. So Lopes First is our culture of wanting to be the most accessible, approachable and available faculty for our students. We call our students Calangelopes, and we live and work on this campus because of you. So we want to be here for you to let you find success, find your purpose. So with that, I look forward to seeing you. Lopes up.